Hi everyone. Welcome to the Cut Bank yeah. Cut Bank <laughs> Girls. We are them. We are them. This There's is, the Cut Banks. Yeah. This is Jaylene. I'm Darlene. Yeah, right behind us. It's like well, we have a third character. I know. I love there, it. There the it Cut Banks. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, for those of you uh, just joining us for the first time, thanks for hanging out. And um, we are the Cut Bank Girls, as I said. We are coming to you from Prince George, where the two rivers meet, on the territory of the Clayt Lake to Maine. So what we do here is uh, we have fun. Um, yeah. We get inspired and we intend to inspire. We want to spark joy and build community, and that's what we that's what we do. We yeah. share what we've been working on, so um, things that we have finished. And we talk about things that were in progress, are in progress, and then we talk about things we want to knit. And so. We try to do it in in a time that kind of fits into you know we, we go we try our intentions about thirty minutes. So yeah. hopefully you can stick around and hang out and get inspired and see what we're up to. And um, we also like to call ourselves sweater sisters because Darlene and I are very goofy but we love and we have so much fun with the knitting the same things again i think it inspires each other i think we inspire each other yeah. for sure yeah yeah because you'll like, come oh, up with something and i'll say how about yeah. this and then we pick like yeah. our totally different colors yeah but then it you know everyone gets a kick out of it or they don't they're we like think, we think they do if we're around the space together <laughs> near the shop or whatever people are going she has the same sweater did you plan that we go yes like, of course yes, we, we did, did. That's what we do. Yeah, it's so fun. So we have lots of twinning today. We do. Let's yeah, talk about this first. Or let's talk about our, our oh, okay. thing first. Episode first, nine. Episode nine. Nine. It's called the Llewellyn. And so I'm sure you saw it if you've watched past episodes as whips. But check it out. I was wearing it today and someone came up to me and said, can I touch that? And I was like, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> she was a knitter, but... So Look how cool it. she gets it. She was like fondling it because it's so squishy. Yeah, we love them. They are it made is. with Concept by Katia Summer Tweed. So it is kind of the last little bit of summer knitting. <laughs> Darn, let's do it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you know, we're going to wear these into the fall. Oh, yeah. I'm already just right now sweating with my mom. <laughs> So this is by the Pacific Knot. There she is. It's a great net. Yeah. It's it's just enough, you know. You, you sometimes start to get a little tired of the knit two pearl two. Um, it's a lot of two by lot, two, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but such but a worth great it, construction. Worth it. So cool. Yeah. So Bottom squishy. Up. Yeah. And you did it exactly as written. You yeah. did the I cord. Uh, bind yep, off. Yeah. I just did a rib. And I did mattress stitch. You did mattress stitch, and I did a. Yeah. Three needle bind off. It works. Yeah. Love it. We love them. And we're gonna wear them with shirts underneath. You totally. Yeah. They're almost like vest like in mm -hmm. the in the fall and winter. So, so that, that's our yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's a Llewellyn. Okay. Should we do this now? Yes. Okay, so so cue it up with okay, the creator. So our cup bank girls, we figured needed something, right? To advertise, do a little bit of marketing, put it on the YouTubes that kind of stuff and um, so we asked our good friend Emily Wilson she's an artist here in Prince George and uh, we go way back you go back oh, with her yeah. too with yoga and stuff yeah. and she's just a sweetheart and we said do you think you could do something up for us and she watches Hi, she Emily. watches yeah and, and so look what she did <laughs> look at these cards Oh, I love them. And they turn out a bit bigger than expected. There's a little story there. I know. It's but so great. We, we have grown to love them. They're really big. They're big. They're like coasters. Yeah. M mug of beer. <laughs> yeah. Or big coffee. Big coffee cup. Oh, look how cute they are. But look how she did our sweaters. That was our first episode. So this is us as caricatures. Caricatures. Yeah. yeah. That's Way to go, Emily. We love it. Thank you. Yeah. So we have those going. She so is people... going to be watching. Sure. For oh, sure. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's so get you into go it. first. Okay. Um, With your FOs. Well, one of my FOs is really simple because 
Yeah, I've had a lot going on. Yeah. There's there's a lot. Um, I never like to use the word busy, so I won't. But I my life has been full, and I've loved it. But that's where your my knitting time kind of goes to the side. But I still managed to get my Llewellyn done, so it's definitely one of my FOs. Give me five. Thank you, Dar. And then my other one, inspired by oh. someone who works. <gasps> Jamie, I haven't seen yeah, this. Dar hasn't seen it. It was I wanted it to be a surprise. So this is called the Mirror Bond Bonnet. Mirror Pond Bonnet. <laughs> wow. Oh, I forgot to get the yarn. That's okay. Oh, well. um, everyone knows Melabriga Rasta. No, no, Manos. No. Manos, Manos. Del Uruguay. This is the Franca. Franca. Yes. You, Look at you, it. If you could come into the shop and feel this yarn, but check out my braids. <laughs> like, I Look made at my how braids. Cute this is. Look at it. My oh, okay. It's a bonnet. I want to make one. Oh. I'm going to make it. one. <gasps> Isn't it pretty? Look at that tie. That's a pretty fast knit, too. And I've got enough yarn yeah. with these two to make another one so that is so cute. so out of two like, hanks this looks you like get two. isn't it pretty and this is probably the softest yarn i've ever worked with the franca you guys it's by manos del uruguay so sorry i said rest it but franca yeah. it, it's a little big i like it's a little um more on a cake right it's 200 gram yeah and so you get more yards yeah it feels yeah. like a lot a big investment um, but it's worth totally it. Worth like it. you could get anyways. So this is the, um, pattern. It's quite an amazing pattern. And they're, it was Natalie. Who told us. Natalie. Yeah. Uh, who makes the pom poms. Yeah. Who's our maker mention and you'll see later. Yeah. Okay. So, um, mirror pond bonnet. Yeah. You get probably at least six sizes because you get a baby, a toddler, a child, a small adult, oh, an adult. But then, that. she but then she does it in bulky and super bulky. Yeah, that's like smart. there's so many sizes. It's and smart options. when they do that. Yeah. So what needle did you use for that one? Ah, uh, good question. Nine, nine millimeter. Yeah, whatever it called for, I can't remember. Yeah. It is a page pattern, like but yeah, is. yeah, it was awesome. Like nice. the flowers, little tricky, little tight, so just stay loose. But you get through it. It's only two rows of flowers so is it okay yeah it's all good yeah. um so that's my second yes yeah and i'm good working job. away i got a lot of things just almost finished but that's my two well it's, yeah it's a lot in in a month yeah 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 when you're when you're working full yeah. time yeah and i turned 50 so yes you yeah, did i did that was a big deal <laughs> and it was fun but yeah um that's my two fo's good go dar well i did the September slouch, I believe I had it in my queue last time. So I finished it. So cute. Look at all these welts. my shirt. Look at that. And then the top. That is nice. Isn't that cute? Too. It's like a little flower. So perfect for this time of year. Yeah. Um, when I get up in the morning to go to the pool, sometimes my hair is just like all over. So I stick a hat on. And this will work, yeah, right? Because it's a nice I lightweight. Love the texture of it. Yeah, so that's called the September Slouch. And it's one of my patterns. And I talked about this last episode. But it is uh, heavily based on um, Alexa Ludman's Simple Yet Effective Cowl. So I just made it into a hat. And um, this is the yarn I used. This is called unique by earth yarns and it's just their fingering so it's a uh, hundred percent superwash merino and um it's a self striper as you saw so it's beautiful so it's one nice. skein i've done this i i've done baby booties out of, one and skein. I'm, out of one skein and i'm sure i have enough for a baby hat wow like it goes it goes a long yeah, way 400 awesome. yards and sorry that's the yeah. fingering yeah this is the fingering yeah. it's not the sock right yeah and then Whoa. um yeah so that was my first finished object and then my second finished object is another magpie darling hat amanda kafka oh amanda she's Thank so you. good look at her anyway we did <laughs> i did one of these sparkly hats. um but this time i made it with 
a new yarn called Make It Tweed. Look at you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I just put two yarns together, so the Make It Tweed. Where is it? Right here. Okay. By Rico. I just love looking at that. And How do you do that? it's crazy, isn't it? It's like a little novelty yarn. And I was, you know, I, I thought, should I get it? Well, we sold, sold out of it. Band. And then I put it with this guy, the BC Garn uh, by O Shetland. It. So it's so cute, isn't it? Yes. Look at all the tweeds. And so my next Imagine one. what you can do with that tweed. I'm going to make it the next one. I'm going to make it with cash. Mm. cashmere and make a tweed love it so you guys we can do anything we want with this because it's just a thread yeah you just add it in you just add it in it could be chunky it's super so chunky cool. you know what i was thinking sock oh my god you could make so you could use whatever you wanted for socks because this has 30 polyamide 35 oh, acrylic so it, 35 it viscose play as the... yeah it would play as the strengthener <gasps> right Anyway, so super excited about that. Is that is really cool. Yeah. So that's the Magpie Darling Knitters like tweet. and and fiber artists. They're just like it, the creativity. So like someone just says, "Let's let's, let's start make, a trend. Let's, let's do some tweed." And I don't know. Someone had to make this and spinning it and do. I know. I know. It's so kind of crazy. Cool. That so that's, that's like the one. um the fiber fest we were at. Oh man. We we were at the local fiber fest and man that was fun cuz I'd never really fully gone to it. I've yeah. always been away. Well, and you took the class. You took oh, the Oh, oh, I took yarn uh, dyeing a yarn dyeing class. Yeah. I'm going to show we show everyone the in the future next episode yeah. what I made. Yeah. Cuz it's it's interesting how you do that and you realize how actually difficult it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You have an idea, and then it doesn't really work out. But um, the lady that, uh, and I'll bring it next time, and sh I'll cue you towards who that was. I can't remember right now, but yeah, it it was really fun. Well, and you did that, and then I had a table for top for yarn, you know, representing the local yarn shop. So there were vendors, people from everywhere, from all Alberta. over, like twenty five vendors. It was a hobby. it was fun. And then Jaylene and I, when she got done her class, we went around and go, "Hi, hey, do you know who we are? <laughs> we're the Cup Bank Girls." It was so fun. It was a good time. They were like, "Who?" I know. Um, okay. But yeah, what are you working on? What's your whip? Uh, well, we have the same whips. I think we should do it the oh, same time. Oh, let's do our whips together. Which one do you want to do first? This one. Okay. okay. And we're almost in the same spot. Or you think oh, we are? I think we are. I just finished three. Oh my god. Okay, so this is Me what... Me too. <laughs> this is crazy. So this is what we're doing. We've mentioned this. This is our gift. Yes. From Haynes Creek. Thank you, Cindy and Roy. Thank wow. you, Cindy and Roy. So, so this, we're doing the throw over by Andrea Mowry. Here it comes. You ready? Ready. Ready. You, do your do your things oh. at top. But face it out. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Here okay, we ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. We're in the exact same spot. How did this happen? It's the universe. Look at saying we're on the, the three of your first color. Yeah. That is funny. That is funny. Oh. I wonder if we should put it over our heads. I did today. Okay. I'm just going to take Let's my glasses off. I did this this morning. Look at that. Cool, right? Yes. You, you guys. This up a bit higher. So this, uh, oh, sure. I didn't bring the label. Did you bring a label? Oh, I have a label somewhere. Yeah. This is the Haynes Creek Heathers by Gathering Yarn. And those folks that come into the yarn shop on a regular basis know we have all the colors. <laughs> and we love this yarn. Love it. Yeah, I absolutely Haynes Creek Heathers. couldn't stop knitting this morning. And they're calling it an Aaron, but you know, we've knitted as both Aaron and Worsted. Jaylene, how much fun is this? Okay, did you look ahead? Yeah. There's ones with three colors. I know. There's we'll four rows. Four we'll rows. I can't do it this one. We're going to be fine. We'll be fine. It's actually going to go really fast. Oh, yeah. We'll be done the yeah. color work in no time. And this is part of the knit-along, right? 
Yes, so that's the other thing going on. So no wonder we're kind of, um, so our lives are on. full. Um, because there's this TDYS fall pullover make along <laughs> happening. And we've got gatherings on the 23rd of September and the 7th of August. And so, yeah, people are making whatever they Sweater want. Weather. Yeah, Sweater weather. we're celebrating Sweater weather. Sweater weather. We love it when it when it gets cool. Like, you should hear us all in the shop. Are. It's like, isn't it great we get to wear our sweaters? Sweater weather. Do you like it? Love it. The purple is a little bit muted, but yes. I quite like the muted. Yeah, I do. And let me see your... Um, Look at this. You can tell our gauges are way different. Like yours is looser. I'm loose. Way looser. But it'll be fine. It's okay. Anyway, so that's our first whip. Okay. And it won't be long. And they're for that both either. both our whips are Andrea Mauer Madrian Mowry. Thank you, Andrea. Yes. She's, she's so exciting. and she's, she's so cute. So adorable. Look at this one. All of her pictures of her. Right. Embrace cowl. So we're doing a class. Yes. And it starts on Wednesday. Wednesday the 13th. That's so exciting. This is this is really fun. Yes. Yeah, so this is an embraced cowl. So you're supposed to be using up. Well, the suggestion is to fade it. Yep. So um, you want to show yours first. It's unbelievable. You guys, so if I you could stop, feel this. I couldn't stop. This is it's silk. It's merino and silk, right? It's really beautiful. It's got rainbows on it. And what an effective pattern. Uh, you know? I love the fade. This is the first time I've done a fade like this. I've never done a fade either. <gasps> it is you know what, so though? addicting. People, this is a soothing knit. And I could say that about her um, her shift ones too. Mm -hmm. The shawl yeah. and the yeah. cowl. There's something about slipping that is just yeah. really soothing. So you basically knit a tube. Yeah. 30, 29 inches, and then you twist it and put it and down. seam it. Yeah. It's going to be so functional. Mine Oops. is made with a bunch of leftovers I love and that. scraps and love it. some Good mini for skeins. You, Dar. Mini skeins that I've acquired. And um, so I brought the bag just to show. <laughs> I put it in one of those uh, bags yeah. to get your sheets in. Oh, I wish I had. And just that. to inspire me, oh, what's the next color? And you have to label your colors because you want to know where you're going in from A to B to B to mm -hmm. C. Yeah. That's fun. I'm loving this project so much. I know. Yeah. It's and I chose a provisional cast on, folks. That's right. why you see this blue. Mm -hmm. um, Jaylene's doing it as written, and I'm going to do the provisional, just something to teach people if yeah. they want to learn that. And you're going to graft it together, and I'll I think so. stitch it. You think I'll graft it? I mean, I might needle bind off, but we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, and my off. yarn is oh, yeah. Pinos, right? It's Fino by Fino. Manos del Uruguay again. Yeah. And they're little um, yeah. five pack mini minis. Yeah. So I have two of them. Yeah, you get a set. You yeah. get five in a set. Yeah. Hers calls for 12. And so I might do some fiddling with just an extra row here and there. Yeah. We'll see. I was burning up the math last night. Yeah. Trying to figure out yeah. things. I was like measuring and using my calculator just to try to figure it all out. It's, I which think is once fine. it's blocked, it's going to be right. Yeah, it's going to okay. be fine. Okay. So those are yeah. our two whips. That's the whips. We're just whipping oh. along. And then, what? Our uh, uh, cue is the same. No, no. No, not quite. This one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, just one. Yeah. One of our cues is the same. Yeah. Yeah. So we could, and it's the same yarn too. I know. This it's is totally just like, gonna be. Did you get a photo of that? Yeah. Okay, good. Um, okay. So we just, so at Fiber Fest, yeah. um, Bramble Ridge was right behind us. She was so sweet. Oh my gosh. All her knitted stuff that she had on she, sample. She's very Where professional. Is she from? She's from Mission and her, believe her first name is Megan. I hope I've got that right. So we bought Bramble some. Bramble Ridge. Because she made a, a PG skein of yarn. Look at this. She wanted it to represent the two rivers coming together. PG-23. Right, PG-23. 
How could we not buy that? So I say, J Jillian, we've got to buy that and then let's get a contrast. Well, it's like a complimentary contrast color. Look at <laughs> green, dark green, like the. So as that night after Fiberfest, I went home and I started just going through my favorites. <laughs> Because we were going to do Pure Joy, but... Right. And then I found this in my favorites from when I first started knitting. It was way at the bottom. And I texted it to Dara, and it's like the perfect yeah. shawl. Because we're going to do the green at the solid. Look at it. You get four sections. It's called the Klein Shawl yeah. by Jennifer Dassau. So that was in a magazine in 2016. It was yeah. in one of them. I can't remember which one. Interweave, It is perfect. For it's going to be great. Yarns. It's because be great. we'll use up most of the yarn. Yeah. We will. So check it out. Yeah. People. Klein shawl. Do one with us. And just a beautiful. Well, there is stockinette in there too. I was going to say all garter, but there's a stockinette yeah. section too. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. I haven't done it's... like just a two skein shawl for a long time. These are amazing. No, I know. They're the woods. They're PG I might have to really get this going pretty soon. Okay, you, you want to show your oh sure your cue. So my uh, next my cue is well we have friends of ours who um, have just become grandparents and so they had a little granddaughter and um, I'm gonna make the in threes oh, baby card again and I've made a few of those. I have two. Over the years. Being inspired by you. This is such a nice pattern. It's a great pattern. And with the the smallest uh, size, you can do it with one skein of worsted, 100 gram worsted. Love it. So um, I'm choosing a red color. I chatted with Bruce about it, and yeah. he said, Mama does not want traditional. Is the Everything baby pink girl and purple. Or boy? It's a little little girl. Oh, okay. So she, I said, "What about red? Do you think red would be nice?" And he said, "Yeah, let's do red." So I'm going to do red. But it is what it is is vintage by Barocco. Vintage. And rocks. this is one of our real staples too, because yeah. you know you get acrylic wool, nylon. You can make socks. You can make kids stuff, blankets, washable sweaters, machine wash. You know, people can't yeah. really handle too much wool. Or if you're gifting but, yeah, and they end up in the washing machine. The way. I did yeah. rent me a blanket out of vintage. Yeah. It, you know, it's a really nice And it one. comes in like all the weights. All the weights. We in the store have the DK, the worsted, the sock, yeah. and the chunky. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of amazing actually. It is actually. Yeah. It's really good to have. Yeah, Barocco vintage. Awesome. I've made a couple of those too back in my starting knitting days as mm -hmm. presents for babies so cute it is because i and think you, you told play. me too and yeah you can play with the buttons yeah. so there's three buttons and then i think you told me this or someone in the sh like a customer that as they outgrow it as a cardigan they can wear it as a toddler like as a throw over shirt or something yeah like a vest like a vest it, it's when you first so make it cute. for the baby it's like a sweater Little, yeah like a dress and then it turns into this vest so yeah because the armholes are really big yeah yeah so yeah, that's my um, that'll my be nice and cute. fast. Yeah, yeah, I want to get it done soon too because she was born already, right? Right, like two weeks ago, I think. So. so okay, I have a story behind my next yarn and why I'm finally going to use it. Oh so, right, because remember we bought it. Yes. When I sold we, the studio, I was transitioning. And it was big transition. Yeah, and you were transitioning, and we were like, let's treat ourselves. Treat yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I like to say. So I invested in probably like eight skeins of Rasta. A little bit of Kaching. A little Kaching. And I was like, I'm making a sweater. And I got this Cosmos. Look at it, Cosmos. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty, that color. The is so soft. It's the softest. So then I started humming and hawing about the pattern to use. And I finally, have, I just stare at this yarn on my shelf. Oh my gosh, I gotta get this on yeah, something. Yeah. And um, you were gonna do the Strathcona like me. Yeah. Because I ended up doing a Strathcona. Yeah. And then, no, no, I was gonna do, um, uh, what's the lady on the island? And you and Crystal made the sweater. 
It'll come to me. Oh, yeah, the Winston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was going to make the Winston. Okay. That's and great. then I changed to something else. Yeah. And then I I just saw this recently again. It's been in my queue and yeah, it's forever. it's pretty amazing. Uh, and I love cardigans because they're just so functional for me. So this is called the Nanaimo cardigan. I know everyone's going to want to make one now. Who's the designer? Day and Tara, Night or yeah, something? Yeah, Day and Night, Tara Lynn Morrison. Yeah. She's great, and she makes the Strathcona as well. She has funky sweaters, and like really makes the patterns so that beginners can do them too, yes. right? Well, yeah. we're gonna do. Yeah, we're doing a class. We're doing a Strathcona uh, sweater is class. Is that November? It is in yeah. November. Which, uh, so yeah, if you remember. want to knit a sweater and you haven't, just come to that class and you'll knit a really funky sweater. Yeah, and it will fly off, off the needles. Your needles. Yeah. And this will too. Yeah. So this is my Rasta yes. Cosmos Nanaimo cardigan. It's not a Nanaimo bar. It's a cardigan. She's um she's from the island. No. She, she's I think, from Vancouver, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But she yeah, uses she's lots BC, of anyway. Oh, she's BC. Yeah. Thanks, Tara Lynn. Yay. So that's um oh, that's my about, other cue. I forgot to mention about this. She's Kelly without a net. That oh. was the, the designer. Kelly without a net. But we'll put it in the show notes. Sorry mm -hmm. about that, Kelly. Oh, and the other thing is we have started a Ravelry group. Yes. Yeah. A um, Cup Bank Girls It's like a forum. Ravelry group. Yeah. Forum. And we're just posting all our episodes in there. Yeah. And we just put up a post for the knit along. So I you... put my pictures oh, on. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, so you can share your project, and uh, uh, it's going to be so fun. So join the group and share your photos and your projects, and we'll just keep building community. It's really, Ravelry really blows clever. Me away. Like it's so clever to do this because they make you guys, it so easy. All you folks, you can show us what you're working on. Um, just putting what I found when I posted mine. You want to make sure that you've already posted it to Ravelry. Because then you can right. just grab it from yeah. there. You just, isn't it in your projects you say share to a group? Yeah. Oh, you can do it that way too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But it also has a click, uh, you know, like a link says upload from Ravelry project. So Really? In yeah. the thread? In the thread. Oh my gosh. Yeah. When you push reply. Oh my gosh. These people in Ravelry, yeah. we love you. And one thing I do, I did notice a couple people uh, messaged me is the links aren't working in the episodes. So oh. I'm going to go back and fix that. Oh, I for, was, the, for this? For the, for the Ravelry okay. groups. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, last but, thing we should do is yeah, this. Because yeah. um, I mentioned it. Yes. So Natalie from Sheepish Wolf Design makes pom-poms for us for the shop. Look at her cute logo. It's the best. And they're <laughs> removable. <laughs> they're, they're, okay. Like, Check it. Everybody. Check it. Look at, yeah. You just you you don't it's have timing. to sew anything. You have this thing that gives it stability. It's like a little baffle. Yeah. And so it put it yeah. with your toque. How cute it, it looks. Too. Oh darn. When I made this toque, Natalie, who works with us at the shop as well, she's like, oh, I know exactly what pom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she she will. She has all the names in her head. I can't remember. What I can't this remember. Is. Oh, this one is. we can look in the oh, label. Oh, that one. Yours. This one's called Shamrock. Oh, I'm going to actually I get my it, label or ask her and I'm going to put it in my notes. Something Saskatoon or something. Yeah. But anyway, that's our maker. And so um, she has a few stores actually now I know. that she sells to. Amazing. And that's a lot of work, you guys. Yeah, these to are. Make these. And it's fun because they're locally made. Yeah. Right? We love them. Wow, look at us, Star. <gasps> so we did it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, oh, and next month, yeah, we have some big we announcements have a lot to yeah, tell it's you. Very exciting. <laughs> this is so fun. So, yeah, if you're having fun, um, like we are, uh, just yeah, subscribe, share it, do whatever we do on YouTube. I have no idea, and um, we'll just keep coming back every month. I this is such a good schedule for us. Once yeah, this is different for us. Just you might notice from the light. Oh yeah. We're so doing normally it in the we do this at nine thirty in the morning, mm -hmm. and we started at what close to two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's a little it's different. Good. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Thanks okay. for coming. Peace out, everybody.
Okay, until next time.